LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. T minus 15 seconds. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. Falcon is pitching down range. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying our stack of Starlink satellites to orbit. Nominal power and telemetry. Max-Q is the next major event coming up here shortly, which will now be throttling down the engines, the M1D engines on that first stage for. Max-Q is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle sees on ascent. So in about a minute, we'll have three events happening back to back. That'll be main engine cutoff, or MECO, followed by stage separation and SES-1, or second engine start one. Now, MECO is where we shut down all nine of those M1D engines on the first stage that you see burning there on your screen. That's in preparation for the second event, which is stage separation. Impact is chilling in. And the weather, again, is looking beautiful, clear skies with an amazing view of Falcon on ascent there. Max Q. There's that call out that we have passed through Max Q. You should be able to see Miko here in a few seconds with those nine M1D engines shutting down here shortly. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Impact ignition and throttle up. And there we've had main engine cutoff and stage separation. You can see that from the ground tracking view there. We did have a good call out of second engine start one on the second stage. Fairing jettison confirmed. And we heard the call out for fairing deploy. Now as stage two takes our Starlink satellites to their targeted drop-off orbit, stage one will make its way back to Earth by executing two burns. The first is the entry burn. That's where three of the M1D engines will reignite. This helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. Now the second burn is the landing burn, and this is the single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship, and that is that center E9 engine which is just powerful enough to slow the vehicle down to touch down on that drone ship. Second stage is following the nominal trajectory. And we do hear that call out that second stage is looking nominal. Unfortunately, we do not currently have any onboard views of that second stage at the moment, but everything is still looking nominal so far. Thank you.
If you're just joining us here, we did have a successful liftoff of our stage one from uh, Falcon 9 from stage Cape eight. Canaveral stage SLS one. 40, and stage two is delivering our Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit. And that's our stack of 60 Starlink stage satellites. Stage one, shut down. Second stage continues to follow the nominal trajectory. We just heard that call out that stage one entry burn was successful and there you can see we do have our stage two camera view finally back and it is looking good there with that MVAC nozzle glowing. And there's our stage one view back on our left as it uh, continues to cruise down getting ready for the start of its landing burn. Stage one landing burn. You can see those uh, hypersonic grid fins of the first stage there on your left, and they control and help orient that first stage as it comes back down to stage Earth. One, stage Earth. one landing leg deploy. Again, stage one uh, will be targeting landing on our drone ship, of course, I still love you. And right before landing, it will deploy uh, four carbon fiber landing legs. Start of terminal guidance. And you can see it coming down towards the Atlantic Ocean there. What a beautiful view from that stage one camera. What an amazing view. <laughs> and we'll see you back here at T plus 45 minutes for a second stage relight. Welcome back to the webcast. And now our second stage is awaiting relight. And there you saw it very quickly on your screen. We did have SES2 and SEGO2. We'll see you back here at T plus one hour, three minutes. Welcome back. And now we are coming up on the deployment of our Starlink satellites here shortly. Hey, look, deployment confirmed. There we go. There's that call out. And we do have a visual of those Starlink satellites drifting away from second stage out in space. Now again, this is their drop-off orbit. So shortly, they will deploy their solar array, and over the next few days and weeks, they will distance themselves from each other and use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their operational orbit. And with that, that brings our webcast to a close. Thank you to the range and FAA for supporting today's mission. If you're interested in Starlink service, head over to starlink.com and sign up. And as always, thanks for joining us and have a great afternoon.